right, so welcome everybody. This is our March 16th, 2022 teaching and learning call. And um, we'll, uh, we'll start off as usual with a few announcements. So um, the big announcement is Sakai Days, which is next week. So that's going to be Monday and Tuesday, March 21st, 22nd. Um, and it's from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. in the morning and 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. in the afternoon, Eastern time. Um, and we've just changed to daylight savings recently. So if you're in a time zone that's affected or not affected or affected differently, <laughs> just be sure to check the correct uh, time of day. But um, anyway, so both days, it'll be those two different time blocks. And there's a link there in the agenda, which our teaching and learning agenda is in the, the notes there. Um, if you go to that, you'll see the... Sakai Days agenda, and I've broken that up into time blocks just to kind of have a tentative time when we're going to cover various things. Now that may, you know, be adjusted slightly depending on, um, you know, if we get to things quicker or if we spend more time on something. Um, but that'll be the general um, kind of lineup of things that we'll be talking about. And some of the Items are intended to be in breakout rooms, so there'll be kind of two conversations happening at once in different um, breakout rooms. So we will be using Big Blue Button. Um, we're going to meet in room two those two days, uh, but we may go into breakout rooms, as I said, for uh, for some of the discussions. So, um, so all that's to look forward to next week. I hope you guys can join us. So we're going to have some, some interesting conversations, I think, I'm sure. Um, so today's topic, um, Adrian had suggested it because he's been working on a lot of search related items um, in conversations, uh, but search is also a bigger topic in Sakai in general. Um, so he suggested that it would be a good thing for this group to talk about um, just to kind of see, you know, what types of um, things people are searching for, you know, the best kind of interface and that sort of thing for search. I don't know, Michael, if you want to add a little bit to that, I know you've been working on it a lot for the conversations. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm happy to share, I guess, the screenshots from what we're thinking about and, and, and dig into the discussion we had from the conversations project. Um, I, I don't know exactly what Adrian was hoping to accomplish today, though, so that's my only fear is I'm sure we'll We'll leave something out, but I could try to recap for the group, you know, where the conversations team head is at. Um, okay, I just gave you a presenter, so if you want to. Let's see, so we'll share this, right? And this is kind of. What? Okay. Um, right, so this is this is what we know search as, right, in the header bar and uh, search and you get some results and you know the current state of search is that it it gets the the title of things it knows what site it's in and it um, knows what what tool it's in and um, and it's and it's in the header right and so there's a couple of things that I know Adrian's thinking about one is a revamp of the the design of this global search as well as the ability to search within a tool. So the thing with the conversations team, if you've used conversations currently, um, I think the search box just says search disabled, right? And so what we're um, what we're working on is the ability in a tool to to do a search um, in addition to the global search, which would also you know search for all of the content across all your sites and all your tools right this is this would be a search that would automatically limit the scope to the site to the tool in that site and um and so this is just the the first design mock-up um, of that and some of the initial things that we kind of came up with are you know there's going to be a there's a desire to change what's currently indexed by the search tool, right? So, you know, you'll hear the word Elasticsearch used in this a lot. That's the technology Sakai uses to perform search indexing and returning search results and, and things like that. And so the Elasticsearch tool only 
can search what we feed it from Sakai. We don't feed it the entire Sakai database. We feed it the specific content. Um, and, and so what we feed it are these things, and that's why these things sort of show up. But you know, in a conversations context, what's really important is who said the thing, right? That's so, and that's not currently sent to Elasticsearch. So immediately we're uncovering these kind of concepts of what should be indexed in Elasticsearch uh, as, it re as it relates to the Sakai Conversations tool. And so the, the person who posted the content was one of the things. And, es and essentially one idea was put forth that, um, let me just boot it up on nightly here, um, that it would be nice if, it, if every piece of metadata from the actual, sorry, talking in, doing or at the same time is not my specialty. Um, so if I go to conversations and I create a topic, it'd be nice, it, you know, currently what's indexed is the title and the details. And so that's what you could search for. And if there's a search term in there, it would find it. But wouldn't it be nice if all of these things, right, every time we had a feature, you know, whether it's a pin topic or not, whether it's was posted by anonymous, whether it was to a group, what, what, if it has a tag, right? Currently, some of these things have specific filters built for them. And those aren't going to go away, but we realize that there are some patterns from folks that some folks like to search, some folks like to, to browse, right? And so these in combination of each other might be really nice. And there, there's some technical research that Adrian needs to do. And I imagine that's one of the reasons he wanted to come to the meeting today was to kind of begin to understand the the need there but that's um so from my perspective that's where the conversations team's head is at um and that's uh, but i don't know what else adrian is grappling with he hasn't joined yet has he cool yeah so now he can yeah, uh, answer the question <laughs> go for it <laughs> uh yeah right so um so the main the main the main thing i wanted to talk about today or or, or ask people about was just the um concept of searching inside a tool and global search right so so now we've we've got this kind of search bar in the um in the top in the top of the portal yeah and uh, and andrea's currently testing that a lot and finding lots of bugs with it so i think it's the first time it's the first time it's actually got any eyes on it um but it's, it's been in for a couple of versions now yeah um but what what that does in 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 concert with a Sakai property is it, it searches everything, all of your Sakai, yeah, um, across all your sites, regardless of whether you have the search tool installed in the site or not, it'll look for, it'll look for everything, yeah. Um, but so when, I mean, you, I don't know if Mike said this, but, um, you know, during our design, our design sessions on the conversations project, uh, people kind of said that they preferred the idea of having a search bar inside the conversations tool right and then when you search in that it's automatically specific to to the tool and to the site and people didn't seem to see much utility in having that kind of global search thing at all really now that that's kind of that's the kind of vibe i got right so so that's that's basically all i wanted to ask today i just wanted to ask um what what people thought about that and just just to maybe get people thinking about search uh, more than we have in the past yeah i mean you know in, in the past we've had we've had issues with search we've had performance performance issues you know with search and so a lot of you know a lot of um a lot of schools kind of like you know probably shut search down you know over the years and and you know it's, it's probably been a slow process of people getting kind of comfortable with it again I mean that's why that's why we have a facility now where search will only index your site stuff if the search tool is added to the site yeah because that you know that automatically limits things that are indexed just to sites with the tool installed but i want to i want to get rid of that i want to i want to get rid of that limitation right? i want I, i'd like us to turn that off now so that everything gets indexed because i think i think we're at the point now with you know, elastic search and advancements in Sakai infrastructure that you know we don't need to fret too much anymore about search. You know, bringing down your Sakai instance 
and so on. So I think at the time we have the capability to do global search across all of these Sakai sites. Where I think we have that capability now, and I think we, we can be bold enough to to enable that by default out of the box, right? So that you know you can have a search bar in the top there like we have, and it will search everything across all of your all of your instances. Uh, so I think we can do that. I think we're at the point where we can do that, and it will work, and it'll be performance, it'll be fine, right? But there is this question of, you know, would we want two search bars on the screen at a time? Would we want a search bar in the top and a search bar in a tool as well, right? You know, like that look quite similar. You know, would that be confusing? You know, um, yeah, would it? Would it? Would it be? Yeah, would it be confusing basically to, to have both of those things? You know, do we just do we just decide to have a search bar just in the tools? You know, like every tool gets a search bar, right? And and you know, the search bar is tool and site specific you know, by default when it when it's sat there inside a tool. And those, those are my thoughts. And I, was, I just thought it'd be an interesting, an interesting, you know, kind of, kind of subject for, for TNL. So that's, that's why, that's why I've put it on the agenda. So what do people think about that? Thank you so much. That was really, really good. Uh, my question is, um, have have we done any usability testing with search? Uh, you know, th the idea of what would the end user like to see? Um, for myself, I if I search, it's normally because I am looking for something within that site. So um, that would be how I'd look. But I do like the idea of sorting and searching within at least this particular tool because there could be a lot of conversations. Yeah, so so I don't I don't think I mean the search tool, the actual search tool that you had to assign, I mean, as as we all know, is is, is like ancient, right? And like, I think it was developed by <laughs> yes. I think Ian Boston developed it like all those years ago when he was at Cambridge, you know what I mean? And uh, it's not really changed much since like, the interface hasn't anyway. The back end obviously has because we have Elasticsearch now and um well, yeah, I don't. I don't think there's been a lot of UX testing done on it. I don't because I don't think a lot of people use search because a lot of people have disabled it over the years. I think it's just kind of stuck in this liminal kind of kind of zone, you know. And uh, I think now's the time to to bring it out of that and get some eyes on it and start really thinking about leveraging the power that we have in, in Elastic Search, you know, like making search really good in Sakai. I think it's, it's people need to start, yeah. Think, thinking about that, thinking about how we can use search better, basically. Yeah, that's a good question, Dee. I, to my knowledge, I don't know of any user testing that's been done on search. I, I know that the conversations team hasn't done any yet, and as Michael said in the chat, but um, I don't recall any being done on search in general, like in any tool, <laughs> at least through my experience. Um, so it, it, if it was ever tested, it's been a very long time. But that yeah, would be I mean, a good thing to do. Yeah, I mean, I've got so I've, I mean, I've, I've got some kind of kind of evidence that there's been hardly any testing done on search. You know, personally myself, because when I was doing when I was doing the um, the bullhorn stuff, right? I thought right, I need a link into um, into an assignment or into an, I think it was a uh, I think it was announcements actually. So I, I wanted a link into an announcement. Yeah, so so I found I found the entity URL for it. And that link was literally one of those, like an access link where you just get a, just a custom drawn version of the announcement, just in a, in a new, in a new tab. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? So I've done, I've done various pieces of work over the last 18 months to two years of making, making the URLs proper portal URLs, right. And, and adding some infrastructure where, you know, you can get a portal URL for a tool, you know, and the, so you get proper deep, you know, better deep linking into the tool than, than we had before i mean i think if people have been testing you know search and, and things like that before i did that stuff and they saw the announcement thing you got in, in the new tab just just like a plain like a times roman type type thing you know i, I think they'd have been i think there'd have been jira tickets about it you know <laughs> probably yeah, you'd think so, yeah. <laughs> so do you think the history of our testing for search has been uh, limited 
only to those institutions that had it um, deployed in the past when it wasn't such a good tool? Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, I think that's a fair that's a fair assessment. You know, I, I think it's just been off people's radar because it's been disabled so often. And, you know, yeah. I, I do think um, Adrian <laughs> Adrian makes a good point that um, it's it's a it's an opportune time to kind of reevaluate search and to make it much more useful for people um, because it has been so little used it's almost like a brand new tool to most folks because they don't use it um, so it would make sense to start thinking about what ways. Would it be used if it were a little more, you know, in people's, you know, consciousness that there's a tool there to do that? Um, obviously, the search within a tool, um, like within conversations or within lesson you know, quizzes or within another, you know, any other tool, um, you can kind of think about, okay, well, that makes sense. Maybe you're looking for a specific item by a specific person. Um, but we might also think about ways that search could be used um, in some ways to replace the statistics tool and to be able to run activity reports. Um, yeah. Ooh. That would depends. be another way. Yeah, but it depends on how it shows it, displays it. That would be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. I never thought of that. Yeah, I mean, Elasticsearch is, is, is basically a... Um, a set of rest endpoints right and you just you just get json results back from it so what you what you what you do is you'd write some kind of a client side front end to process those so i mean what, what we're almost talking about there is if we started actually if we started actually indexing um events so sakai's events if we start indexing those in elastic search then we could query those events you know and we could use like um a Kibana or something, or one of the elastic search tools that comes with it to, you know, to produce reports and things. And, but yeah, you'd have to, you know, there'd be front end work to do with that. But yeah, we, the, the benefit of that will be we, we could rip out all the site stats back end stuff and uh, just use elastic search for that, you know. But that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a bigger project, you know, and uh, more, that's more Earl's uh, kind of wheelhouse than, than mine, really. But, um, what was I going to say then? I was going to say something. Oh yeah. So uh, yeah. I mean, it's like I'm, I'm I'm doing things with search steadily, just to just to slowly improve it. So I've just I've just I've got a PR in now where um, we add the creator's display name to the index. It gets indexed. So when something's whatever whatever piece of content is being indexed, usually it's got a creator. So I thought right. Well, if we have the display name in there and this came out of discussions on the conversations project of course uh um which is where i get most of my ideas at the minute uh so i thought if we index the, the display name then you can just you can search on the display name and you'll get everything back so if, if you have the tool if you have the the search bar inside conversations in a site um you could search for like adrian fish in there right and it'll just it'll bring back all the topics posts and comments that were created by adrian fish you know or with with links there and stuff, uh, and that that works fine. The, the, that's 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 working. That. It's, it's a PR, so it's not it's not been merged yet, but it's all it's all working great. It was quite easy. So we we can add more things. You know, we can add more things to the Elasticsearch index, right? At at the point of the content creation, right? When the stuff actually gets queued for indexing, right? we can add more bits of metadata to it as well. So there's a lot of scope. There's a lot of scope for us. You know, expanding the the, the the kind of amount of stuff that we index, and again, you know, before I added this display name, the things that we indexed had probably been like, you know, frozen in amber for the last like fourteen years. You know, that kind of set of data that we were indexing. So, you know, it's probably the first time that's changed for for so long. You know. That's it. That's, that's, that's all I've got. I just, uh, yeah, I just thought, uh, people, people. I've got another question then. Um, 
we have this index of data that's comparable that you're saying that is frozen in time, which is, this is not a tool I know very much about. Um, do we know what, do we have like a comparison list of what could be indexed, kind of what it means? Um, what the outcome of the second set of data that could be included in the search would mean to the um, user? I think I think that 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 kind of list would come out of people just producing, you know, doing the kind of focus groups around search what they would like to search on. You know, it's so like in the conversations group meetings. Uh, you know, I forget who it was. And you say, well, I want to be able to see all the posts by by Adrian or whatever, right? And so I just thought, well, you could do that by adding. The, the user's display name to the to the content that's indexed, but that's weird because you'll see that in the hits, right? You'd see just Adrian Fish appearing in there as some kind of weird token, right? But I thought, well, no, we add we add that to the index. So I think we should have things slowly, but I think I think we should have blue skies thinking about what what we want to how we want to use search, and I think those requirements for stuff to be indexed will come out of that basically. I mean, there's lots of metadata. There's there's like there's like I suppose there's like timestamps, like created modified date for that piece of content and things like that. You could index those perhaps, you know, and search on search on a timestamp or, you know, things like that, you know. And we can put what we want in there. We can put what we want in there. You know, as long as the stuff, as, as long as the, the, the pieces of data are quite small, you know, because it's metadata, like the, you know, the display name of the user, it's not going to make the index really massive, but it's going to increase the power of the search significantly. But I think they are emergent things, though. When people start to think it would it'd be great if search did this, I'd love to be able to look for this. Then probably frequently we'll be able to we'll be able to modify the index. You know what gets indexed to, to just make that you know snappy. I know I'm being a little bit vague, but I haven't got a list basically. Of it's okay. Which... <laughs> yeah, I think, I think the problem is you have to think about it almost like a tool at a time because it's hard to think of all the things that you would search for just like in general. But if you limit it to a specific area, then you can think, oh, well, I would want to look for user and date and, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's probably things like dates and that. I mean, yeah, probably like, you know, creation modified dates and like, last things. access date. Yeah. Yeah. Can I uh, share again? Yeah, you've still got presenter. So, I mean, I search Google quite a bit, but I don't think Google is the right um, analog for us, right? So I, I think a lot more about Slack and Teams um, as, a, as a something that's more similar to how our implementation of search might look at the end of the day and uh, I don't like teams as much personally um, so when I right now I'm in all unread so I don't really have a context in slack other than I'm in a perio and I'm not in one of these other and so if you don't use slack let me just take a step back so this is essentially kind of like a, a site right this the perio would be the equivalent to my Sakai site versus learning innovation site or, or my other sites so but I'm, I'm not really in a tool I'm in I'm in a you know a very ambiguous context inside of the Aperio site, and when I click in the search here, I get you know some handy um, you know things some helpers right, or I could just start typing. But if I um, if we go into general, I think right we get some interesting changes right. So the first thing is the helpers and the recent searches remain. Um, but now it kind of gives me that I'm still, you know, do you want to limit your search? Do you want to focus your search to this particular tool? General would be the equivalent to a tool in Sakai, right? And so uh, I, this to me would be like a standard to shoot for if, um, if we are looking for one, right? And of course, I don't want to say don't do UX testing and don't, you know, um, validate all of our assumptions, but I also know our limited bandwidth so you know if, if we don't have the bandwidth to do all the things we would like to do where should we look to for inspiration and this is the tool that i would recommend um, and i know there's mixed feelings on the conversations team about like syntax right so this in colon 
right? I mean, that, that, that's, that's how, you know, that's how it's going to limit my search. If I click this, it inputs that into the search box and then I can just type Sakai and, and now I'm taken to the search results page. But so we have to figure that out because I think lots of people <coughs> don't want to memorize search syntax. Other people, they're fine with that, right? So you have to figure out if you want to like show a bunch of filter knobs and in, in, in controls and like, or do you want to focus more on search syntax? And I also have no clue how Elasticsearch does that. But um, and so now if I actually, if I get rid of that, now that's of course in my recent search, right? So I can just quickly, I don't know what happens if I, if I search for files. Oh, and that inserts a little tag. Interesting. So that that's um, that's one place where my head is at with search, and the other place is with the Trinity project, um, which the designs for this could also change because this is a, a relatively recent um, change. But if you haven't seen Sean's most recent revision of the mockups we're building towards, um, the global search is here, and we're currently considering using this, uh, it's called an off canvas mechanism. Um, and, you know, something we need to bring to TNL as well is like, this could be where help could go to instead of opening a new tab and it being that kind of iframey looking thing. Um, but we currently have all of these set up to, to go to this kind of off canvas slide out. Um, I don't think that really limits or changes the conversation for today. You still have to add things to the index. You still have to be able to search them. They still have to show up here. It's just whether or not they would show up in this kind of pop-up versus the current pop-up versus a, a dedicated page uh, for search results. Those are just decisions we need to make. Um, and then the last thing is because uh, table will go here is not exactly super exciting. Um, unfortunately, the tables I'm working on are, are broken at the moment in my install. So uh, give me one minute. Um, one of the things I'm trying to build into, we have a lot of these tables in Sakai, right? Lists of things. List, every tool essentially has a list of things page. And the library that I'm using for the Trinity redesign of this has a ability to filter in there. So it like, is this a search, right? Is this, is this the same thing as a tool search or is this actually a different thing? And we want, because all this is, is to, you know, it doesn't search anything other than the data in this particular table, right? So if I am in conversations, or maybe it's conversations isn't a good one. If I'm in testing quizzes, and this is the list of quizzes, and Alibab is, you know, my first quiz, um, but what I'd want is quiz pool, question pools, right? This, this type of interface would not search question pools. It would only search this particular data source, whereas something like Elasticsearch and these, you know, search interface that Adrian's going to build, it's going to be able to search a much broader scope than just the limited data there. So those are some other places where um, my head has been about That's search. brilliant to see. The, the mobile, yeah, maybe the, those slide outs, um, they just take up the full page on mobile, right? Because they're essentially almost a mobile width. That's awesome. Thank you. I didn't know. That 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 thing you just showed us, Matt, right? Um, the searching in the columns is that is that rest based? Does it go away and does it does it does it pull back the rows that match, or is it just searching things that are there on the screen currently in the in like in the DOM, you know? It's currently the ones in the DOM, I believe, but I haven't built the piece for tabination or pagination, rest-based pagination yet. So I don't exactly know how that works. Currently, all the endpoints I've got just give me all of the data, right? They're not paginated endpoints. So if, you know, and they're the ones Marcus is working on, right? So if the web API provides me a page, I don't yet know if it will search other pages or not probably this library has been pretty robust but i haven't i haven't gotten there yet yeah yeah i mean, I mean you probably have to implement something on the back end like with um jquery data tables you have to do that don't you you have to you have to implement a rest endpoint to do the paging right well this is the thing that's going to replace jquery data tables this right, library right. 
for yeah, the web cool. component version of this, right? So it's it's got um, uh, like I said, it, it's it's got quite a bit of functionality built into it, and I know it has. I'll try to look. When, I'll go on mute and look. I know it's got pagination, REST based pagination built in. I'll, I'll look for the filtering and searching and see how that works. But yeah. you know, my thought was like, do I need to just turn that off? Because the in tool search is going to be a better mechanism than that, right? That's where my head is going. Is like currently I'm designing these tables around the idea that there'll be a button to like show hide these filters, and you can just quickly filter them. Maybe we need to get rid of that idea and focus more on a on a search that gets baked into every page that searches the tool, or or the global search has an easy mechanism to to search the tool. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'd, I'd I'd kind of carry on with that because I. I see them as like different things because what what I've not really what I've not really wrapped my head around is is making it so that the tool dictates you know the format of the search result right you know what I mean so like that table thing is a totally different use case to to um you know to to the search what I'm talking about you search you get a set of links back you click a link you deep link into the tool you can use those deep links everywhere you can copy and paste them or whatever right you know what i mean it's it i mean you, you you could encode a state into the link so that when you click on that the state gets set up so you see the table you know page three of the table right or whatever yeah but you know which is some, something you could you could think about you know that might be but i'd, I'd, I'd carry on I, I don't think i don't think what you're doing is is overlapping with the direction that I, I see, I see kind of elastic search integration going. I don't think, I don't think you're wasting your time, basically. I'm happy to carry on. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. It's more like DOM searching what you're doing, right? Obviously, mm -hmm. you know, if, if, if you're paging, then you, you are going to need to hit up a REST endpoint to, to get the next page or whatever, or, if, you know, the page that the hit exists on, right? That's what you want to do, isn't it? Because you want to see the, You'll often want to see the context around it, maybe you know, like, rather than just one row or something like that. I don't know, but yeah, I, th I think it's something different. Basically, that's my feeling. Yeah, so my, my time's up. <laughs> Any questions? Any? Just, just, just go and think about search. Just, just think about it. Go and think about some search. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Adrian. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's a lot to process. I'm still kind of trying to think, you know, about ways to search activity and, and stuff like that too. So. Yeah, well, we have the power. That's the thing. We we have the power to search in Sakai now. We have the power and the scalability and all that stuff. It's ten times better than it was when when search was was a memory hogging, dangerous thing. So. Right. Any other thoughts on search? Anybody? Um, one one question that I just want to get a little clarity on, because I mean, Adrian said it, but nobody kind of responded. Um, and I don't know to take that as agreement or what, but um, do people feel that searching, you know, automatically limited to the tool or the site is is a more common use case than searching across all of the user sites? That's kind of how it seems to me, but I don't know if that's true of others. I can only speak for myself when I'm looking for something. It's normally I kind of know where I left it, so I'll search that site. But there have been times where I'm looking for something historical and would like to search uh, all the sites I was a part of. I think that's the, the least used case is to search globally. I think it's more possible, for, at least from my experience, to use the more uh, limited uh, course site um, search yeah, that's in it's interesting so so okay so i've got i've got a bit of a question there right so i mean at the moment we've got this search tool right and um 
in all honesty, I'd like to get rid of it, right? And just 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 dump 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 that, right? And then just have a search at the top and search inside tools. But that begs the question, like 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 Didi's saying there, right? If you wanted to search just in a site, just in a site, you wouldn't want to use it in tool search because that would that would that would limit you to the site and the tool as well, right? So we still need somewhere where there's a search bar that just searches the site you're in. So this is a mixture of navigation and search, right? So what Didi's saying there is the navigation is pretty decent, right? We can find the site quite easily, but after that, we might just want to quickly drill in and find find the piece of material that's inside the site, yeah? But So could we have a search bar in Site Info, for instance, and just get rid of the search tool? Because I would like to, I would like to get rid of the search tool. You know, I'd like. That's you know, an interesting placement, Adrian. Inside the yeah. site, that's interesting. Yeah, there's a few other things I'd love to rearrange in, in site info. So, <laughs> 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 um, but uh, I, I agree. I would love to get rid of the search tool. I rarely see it in sites active in a course there but i don't see it being used or used effectively yeah because i mean we could use exactly the same search component you see the same we can use the same web component and just, just drop it into the site info you know what i mean yeah the same when you use like the in tool search except in site info would be in course search essentially mm. yeah we see I know, I know what you're saying there mike but but if you, if we don't add like radio buttons and toggles to that top search, you know the thing that's in in the portal top bar, right? How how would you know that your current you're searching your current site? How would you say actually I want to search across all Sakai? Because it just I'd say we like... add the radio button. I mean, what it, radio button might be not not be the right uh, control, but uh, but I think that's what you do, right? Uh, my fear is you you put it inside info and nobody's going to use it. Because then they yeah. got to remember, I got to go somewhere to search. When what they're going to do is going, they're going to see the search icon. They're going to click up there, and then be frustrated. Right. So, so I mean, let them do what they wanted. Yeah. So going going back to your your kind of like Slack thing there. So you 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 you'd envision some kind of a like either it comes out from the side panel like like you did, or or as a panel comes down like Slack style, right? And it's got the selectors in there, ready for the search to to instrument the search. Yeah. I think so. I, if that's doable, I think I would. Yeah. I would. I would. I would strive for that. Um, it's doable. I mean, no, nobody's designed that top search bar. That was me. I was on a. I was on a flight back from Sakai Camp, <laughs> right? And and I we already had the uh, the uh, the rest endpoint because we did that for like Yaft or something, right? So I thought, right, I'm just going to write a component and I, I just put it there, right? And nobody ever said anything about it afterwards. It just went in and just like. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Yeah, it's my fault. It is. On flight development. I love that. Yeah, yeah. I see, yeah. Eight hours, you know, nine hour nine hours, you know, it's yeah. it's plenty of time, you know. <laughs> Thank you so much though. It's been really I never would have thought of any of this, so thanks. Yeah, no problem. All right. Well, I don't think we have any Jira's in our queue. Uh, oh wait, there was one that was added. Um, let's go ahead and 15 minutes we can go ahead and take a look so let's see this is wait a minute that's a link to if to link to your page i grabbed the wrong one sorry yeah oh, okay did you have a jira you wanted to talk about dd i thought there was one bear with me Anyway, thank you, Adrian and Michael, for um, enlightening us about search and getting our minds going on where search could be. Um, so I, I think it, there's a lot of potential there. Did we look at the one SAC 45106? Four or five. 
Date manager doesn't indicate why Sam ago or discussion disabled date fields are disabled. I don't remember looking at that one. It doesn't say UX reviewed. Um, oh, he already did. Thank you. Um, all right, so maybe is there anything you'd like to? No, I just saw it from Christina and we have, we're discussing when we were doing the uh, one of the other calls, so. I figured I'd bring it up. Quick review. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so you guys are saying that you would like a Info icon that gives more information, basically. Mm -hmm. What does everybody else think? I'm hoping everyone's just reading and looking through the ticket. Yeah, yeah. We've had this come up, I think, originally, and people didn't understand why they couldn't change stuff. I'm glad this is here. Puppy. I thought it was an interesting ticket when I read it and Christina was at and I were on a call and it's like, oh, okay. I can see I can see how that's confusing, definitely. You know, something's just disabled. You know, I think that everything should have a like an info thing on it. Just to uh, you know, otherwise I w I wouldn't know what, what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't even realise you could do that from date manager. It's pretty oh, date manager's powerful. really cool. Yeah, yeah, right. It's um, I've shown it off and had people, especially adjuncts, be like, "What? That's awesome!" <laughs> well, <laughs> but there are there are workarounds for it. There are things like this where um, there's a uniqueness that needs to be paid attention to. Yeah. I think the I, I like this a lot. The killer feature to me would be actually deep linking you to these things you have to change to fix it i mean we've got all these messages you know to, to do this go to this part of this assessment setting page like so you could actually click on it and it would add, to where yeah. you need to fix it yeah i don't know how that, how would that be done is that horrible I, so um, just getting the information from there you've got to be able to build a link straight into the part of the tool where where you, where you want to make the change so it depends i think 
I mean, I, I did. I, I've not worked on this, but I think I think date manager is based on Spring MVC, right? So I've done something in conversations where you just have a path, and then the controller extracts the elements from the path and sets up the state, and then launches a tool, and then you have some kind of JS inside the tool, which takes you in, you know, to that particular area. So you can't. It just takes a bit of work. So out of the box, no, you probably you, you you couldn't. If you if you put a link in, it would just take you to the date manager tool, probably, and not take you any further down to where you need to be. So, well, that you know. would be a good start then. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's easy. It's, it's easy building links to tools. Yeah, it's, it's not a problem, you know. Um, and and you can go further into the tool just with a bit more work, you know. Got it. I think, I think, I think you should make this, I think this should be made major, you know, not, not minor. I think, I think major, you know, because this is the kind of thing that generates support calls, you know, and t ties you, ties you, you know, you, you staff down in explaining stuff and things and, you know, and I think that's, that's always significant. Thank you for caring for us. <laughs> Those of us well, who answer the phones. <laughs> Exactly, yeah. Well, it was Derek, Derek and Kenny as well, you know. I think about them too, you know. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's it for me. All right, well, I will add a label to the same TL review and that we all think it's a great yeah. idea. And Adrian no, thinks we should make it uh, more prior, higher priority. Yeah, only a major. Obviously, obviously it's not a, it's a, it's a, definitely a major. I mean, mine, mine just kind of like just disappears off the radar, to, to be honest. You know, I'd, I'd, I'd leave it a major. If it was just like a, a, a slight cosmetic thing where something was like, you know, a few pixels out of line, right, that would be a minor. But I think this is more like a major. Minor, major, major, minor. Music. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm muted because my dogs are going crazy over a cat or something outside. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't want to keep you guys. I think that was the only JIRA that we had uh, adjusted for today. And since we're almost at the end of the hour, that's probably not um, the time to go searching for more. So um, I guess we can go ahead and wrap up for today. But I just want to thank you all for attending and um, participating in our discussion today. And, um, you know, keep thinking about, you know, kind of your wish list for search because we can start sort of mapping out what some of those items might be and adding them a little bit at a time. Um, starting obviously with some of the tools like conversations, but if you have ideas for other ones, you know, write it down somewhere, make a JIRA, let me know, I'll add it to a list um, just so we can keep track of all that stuff so we don't lose it. And um, don't forget that uh, we're having the beadwork demo on April 6th. That's our next meeting. And then on April 20th, having a Zerte demo. So April will be the period demo month at teaching and learning. <laughs> yeah, so um, hopefully you'll join us for those two sessions coming up. And um, and again, uh, Sakai Days is next week. So hopefully you'll join us for that, at least part of it. If you can't make it for the whole thing, feel free to drop in or out for uh, various portions of it. So, all right. Um, Hope you all have a, a great rest of your day and rest of your week. And hopefully I'll see you next week at Sakai Days. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey, hey Adrian, can I, yeah. can, I, can I keep you for one minute? Yeah, yeah. Which is, of course, a lie because it's never.